We want to now take a live look at the St. Louis Will at Union Station. Right now, it is lit up purple, all in honor of Janae Edmondson. In fact, today marks one week since the car crash that critically injured the 17-year-old volleyball star visiting from Tennessee. Thank you for being here. I'm Brent Solomon. The tragedy has struck a chord with the nationwide volleyball community. Today, one local team showing their support for Edmondson on the court. Following your size, Mercedes McKay joins us in studio with that story. Mercedes. Brent, the support for Edmondson has grown immensely as she continues to recover. Her GoFundMe has already reached over half a million dollars. Pretty incredible. The St. Louis community is showing their support in several different ways, too, from fighting for safer streets to playing the game she loves. Inside the Bud Dome Sports Complex on Saturday. Shades of purple could be spotted pretty much everywhere. There's been a message out in the volleyball community across the country to support Janae this weekend. Out on the court, Crossfire Elite players sported the team's favorite color on their shoelaces, in their hair, even with their warm-up t-shirts. I feel like I see a bit of Janae and every girl in the gym, and it, it really hit hard because it could have been any of our girls. Between every set and every match, the number 23 could be seen on faces, drawn on legs, and throughout the stands. She has an army behind her. She's got a community behind her. A community that's working to better itself. We're going to have to take our time to figure out how to redesign and retrofit what already exists. Christy Holland is the co-chair of the St. Louis City Community Mobility Committee. The group advises the board on mobility issues around the city. It's not always necessary to drive, but it's also very dangerous in St. Louis to travel beyond a car. Traffic violence is an issue that the other co-chair Liz Kramer describes as a perfect storm. We haven't been able to invest in infrastructure in the way that other cities have in the past. Um, we also have a state that doesn't make rules that allow us to be safe on the roads. That's just to name a few. One major thing the group is working on is how to make the city's roads smaller. We have so much space in St. Louis and our roads are designed for people to go fast. With street safety on everyone's mind. I feel worried about like, can I really bike to my friend's place or am I going to get hit on the way there? The entire community has one main message for Janae. Just know that everybody's praying for you. Don't give up. Keep fighting. You're doing great and you got this. The St. Louis City Com Community Mobility Committee recently got Board Bill 120 passed. The bill includes a number of things the group has been asking for to improve mobility across the city. Mercedes McKay reporting tonight. A GoFundMe supporting Edmondson's family has already reached over $550,000. If you'd like to help, you can text the word support to 314-425-5355.